uh, during his meetings uh, with the Prime Minister Abdul. He was saddened by what uh, what he saw and, and his his reaction, his his message, uh, which in a sense is one that he's given in, in many other uh, situations, is that political leaders uh, need to impress on their followers the need to refrain from violence and to respect uh, the democratic process and respect the rule of law. I mean, it's a very important message that political leaders need to uh, give to those who listen to them. President Trump, who told his followers to march on Capitol Hill, and that's where... The president uh, and others are political leaders. And I think so. The, the, the secretary general's message applies to all those who have political responsibilities. Resulted in a social media ban. Uh... I think in general terms, we have uh, spoken out at the risk, uh, and not only the risk, but the fact uh, that uh, social media platforms have been used uh, to propagate violence, to propagate hate speech. Uh, I mean, I, they've been studies, UN studies, on, uh, on, on how they've been used in various, uh, in various conflicts and various civil wars. And that is, I think it just increases the responsibility of the people who manage those platforms to ensure uh, that they are not uh, misused uh, to do physical harm uh, to people.